The Kaja Magica, or Magic Box, is one of the most impressive tennis stadiums in the world. And this week, it hosts the Matois Madrid Open. Tuesday's late session saw matches from round one and two. Spaniard Guillermo Garcia Lopez was up against Dutchman Timo de Bakker in round two. Garcia Lopez, ranked 29 in the world, began the match brightly. Garcia Lopez took the first set and in the second maintained his high level. De Bakker beat the Spaniard in their only previous meeting at the French Open in 2010 but he was struggling in Madrid. After just an hour and 13 minutes, Garcia Lopez wrapped up the match to book his place in the last 16. Final score, 6-2, 6-3. Another Spaniard had a good day at the office in Madrid. Monte Carlo and Barcelona finalist David Ferrer was hoping to continue his run of good form against Adrian Manorino. Top tennis from Ferrer. How hard has this guy got to work to win the point? And a great execution on the drop shot. Again, just the awareness of knowing what shot to hit next. Ferrer took the first set, but Manorino was a man inspired in the second, and he went on to take it to love. This time he makes it. He's playing an outstanding set of tennis. In the third, though, normal service resumed, and Ferrer took control. Accuracy. So quick onto the ball. It's one of those that's taken on the rise as well. After an hour and 54 minutes, the world number six marched into round three. That'll do it. Satisfying victory for Ferrer given that he wasn't playing his best tennis. That's off to Manorino who really did put him through his paces. But in the end, Ferrer with just a little too much experience in his locker. 6 11 the third. On Wednesday, the world's top four players will all be in action. It should be another great day's tennis at the Matois Madrid Open. <laughs>